Right now, I don't have too many badges, and I have no uh, book XP stored, so I'm gonna just show you what I usually do. I picked, <clears throat> I picked my top 16 viziers. Um, so it ends right here with Valley. He's the, he's number 16. Uh, <clears throat> the majority of them have. Um, military talent um, highlighted as their main thing so and that's what you want you want people who have those military bad those military talent symbols if you go to uh, some of the top people that I have you see that they have <clears throat> two or more stars as their for their military power and those ones the ones who only especially the ones who only have one military talent but has two or more stars on it you want to try to get them with the book XP make sure that their book XP hits a thousand and then level them up that way if you have badges however you can take your badges and give those to people who have one star military talent or two star because it's either 50% or 100% success rate so you hit them with that sometimes like for the 50% sometimes it works sometimes it don't now the way that I was told that it uh, works is it goes it's based off of a hundred badges rather than you know one out of two will work it will be 50 out of 100 will work so if you have four stars then 20 out of 100 will work and that's how that works so it's easier and better to use book XP to develop four stars like three stars or more so with, with your top 16, those are gonna be the ones that you use in war. And what I did was I made sure that all 16, all of those top 16 are at least 30 million in power. So that way um, I'll have a really decent chance of doing some real damage no matter what round it is. But when it comes to like the higher rounds, I wanna make sure that my um, Viziers are like extremely strong because other unions like bros and hoes are gonna like destroy us regardless at this point. But if we all have at least one vizier that's a hundred million, or uh, hopefully two that's over that's over sixty million at least, then uh, those two can be in the very last round, and then uh, you know any ones that's over thirty can be in the third round or the the third round and then uh if you have all of them that's like the first the top eight if you have your top eight uh 30 or 30 or above then that'll make it easier to decide where to put those in the war now to get your book xp the easiest way to do it but also the most time consuming is to put them in the academy but you need to make sure that you have at least five seats. But you don't have to, but that's the fastest way to do it. Make sure you have at least five seats. That way you can get a group, make a group of five, and you put those in there, and then you, you know, you just like automatically put them in and take them out. It gives you 10, 10 book XP every time. Sometimes it gives you 30. Other than that, you'll go to the union, and this is why I say make sure you do those 200 uh, contributions because every time you do that, you have like you get points in here to redeem book XP packs. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do that so I can show you. And then, uh, so I just got two book XP packs, and those give you 50 for every time you use them on somebody. So let's see who. I could put those on. I think Hadeem is close. No, he's not. Uh, 
somebody is close. Okay, I think, well, that's not close enough, but let's just say, let me see. Well, he has a one. So yeah, if I gave him one book XP, this is a bad example because you should you're, you should use your badges on these people because it's a hundred percent success rate. But just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna show you. You should put your um, book XP on people who have three or more stars because um, it's a hundred percent success rate on the on those ones but since he's closest to being able to get it I'm gonna just go ahead and use him so 190 he has 196 out of 200 I'm gonna add 50 to that with the book XP it's right here so that's him boom now he has 246 go back to him here and then as you saw before he was 33 million. Let me hit, hit him with that one good time. Now he's 35 million. And then it also helps when you level him up. So um, I'm trying to get him to 300, so I'm saving my gold for that. But if you level them up 10, then it, you know, it multiplies it that way as well. So those are the easiest ways. If you need any more detail on it, I'll make another video but yeah that's about power